So today I'm gonna be vlogging my day. Let me explain real quick. So one of my friends is working in Houston and I need to go to the DMV to get my Texas license today in Houston. So I was like, well, let me go with you. And it's right at that like lunchtime peak. And then I can go do Uber Eats and I'll be making a lot of money because there's like um, extra money you can make when there's like lots of orders going on, which would be Houston at lunchtime. So this is like perfect. I'm just gonna bring you guys along my day. I just dropped my friend off at work and it's time to start doing my Uber Eats. Hopefully I have everything I need to go to the DMV because I hate when I go and then like I actually needed like a million more things, but I think I have everything I could possibly get. Um, I have this basket in here because it's easier so the food doesn't like fly around in the chair next to me. I got my charger. I should probably actually already charge my phone. Doing Uber Eats literally kills your phone so fast. Like two orders, I need to plug my phone in. I should have been charging it on the way down because I actually didn't charge my phone last night. So I'm really just like not put together today but let's see what the map looks like so if you guys have never seen basically this is what it looks like and the gray area means like there's a lot of orders going on and then once it hits like lunchtime probably like 11 30 there'll be these little areas where you make extra money because they really need orders so then i can go to those and then you make even more money it's actually kind of fun i just kind of started doing this because i mean extra money and i wanted to see what this was like yeah i actually enjoy doing it let's get started unable to go online why Oh, I probably am on some weird Wi-Fi and I don't really have service because I'm in a parking garage. So I'm actually going to start driving. Wait, I'm so smart. Usually my phone's right here, but I'll put it on this one that I can... Because I wouldn't put my camera up on like the actual... I have this like tripod thing. But then, what was my problem with that? Oh, but then I have to like go into restaurants and I don't want to just like leave my camera there and I don't want to spend forever having to take my camera up and down. So this is what we're working with right now. Um, this is basically like a little drive with me type vlog. I haven't done one of these in forever. Okay, here we go, first order. Oh, Smoothie King. The problem when I do these is sometimes I really crave the food and I'm like, ugh, maybe I'll go there when I'm done. Because I was literally thinking this morning how good a smoothie sounded. Wow, I'm literally one minute away from the restaurant. That's, that's beautiful. Oh, also I think I said this order was like almost $4 and it should take me like 10 minutes to do. The best is when I get to a restaurant that already has it ready and it's just sitting on the counter and I just look at the name and leave. I hate when I have to like wait because that's time wasted that I could be making money. And after today, I'll show you guys how much I made today and how much I've made this week and how many hours I've worked. And I can also show you how much I made last week. Um, I only worked for like two days last week. And this week I've worked a little bit, like a teensy bit on Tuesday. I worked like a decent amount out yesterday and then today I'm gonna work for a couple hours. I just got waved at by a cute little girl crossing the street. I also hate when I'm stuck at lights forever because once again it's like time wasted I could be making money. Oh my gosh this Smoothie King is like an actual own building. I've never seen a Smoothie King on its own. Usually they're like in, you know what I mean? I also am still trying to figure out how to like make the most money because I know like people will talk about you shouldn't accept every order, you should only accept orders that are like close. I don't know, there's different, but it's like, I get so stressed and you only have a little bit to accept the order, like a little bit of time and I'm like, I don't know what to do. Usually places don't let you use the drive-thru, like some restaurants do, some don't. They will have directions on the Uber Eats app. Okay, I'll be right back. Okay, and then we start delivering. See, this was a perfect order. I was a minute from the restaurant and two minutes from where the person lives or where I'm delivering. Um, the other thing with the drive-thru, even when restaurants do let you use the drive-thru, the drive-thru is always so much longer because people are ordering and then they make the order and give it to them, obviously, where if you just go in, usually it's just ready. The good news is that this is making me good at driving in the city. Here's the person's order also, just a little smoothie. In the city is a little bit more annoying because a lot of times I'm delivering to like businesses that are within a building and they want me to go up to their floor and then so I have to find parking, find the floor. So that also adds to like the time. So you have to think about like all of that. I love when it's just like either an apartment that's easy to go to, even apartments are sometimes annoying, but house is like, Perfect. So this delivery, I had to drive all the way up this parking garage to level four. So now I'm gonna drive down while it searches for another order. See, this is what I was waiting for. So now I'm gonna drive into that area and then I'll make extra money. Okay, I'm gonna stop light real quick. I just got like a $5 order and then I added on like a $9 order to the same location. So that's why you wanna drive in these like really popping areas. Cause you either pick up in the same restaurant or restaurants right next to each other. And then you deliver to basically like the same area. like 
an apartment complex or two buildings right next to each other and you make bank. Just dropped off both the orders at the same place. This is the weirdest thing I've ever seen. Here, I'll try to show it real quick. This high school, like all ordering lunch. <laughs> So literally everyone right here is just like Uber. Also, I'm now in a location where it's an extra $1.50. Oh, it was an extra $2, but it just went down to $1.50. So let's go get some more orders. Okay, I've been like going, going, going. I finally have a second here. It's like a two minute drive that I can talk. This has been nice because everything's like two minutes away from each other and they're like more expensive orders since I'm in like the surge area or whatever. But at the same time, driving down here is kind of crazy because it'll like not tell me if I need to pull out and go left or if I need to pull out and go right so I just have to kind of guess uh because I don't know my cardinal directions a lot of times I'm doing u-turns or have to maneuver all the way across traffic to like turn left but I guess it's making me a better driver and I'm also getting to see like I haven't driven around Houston like since I've lived here I've gone to places in Houston like in the city because I live right outside the city but I haven't like explored the actual city. So this is kind of nice to get to see what's around here. And I really like the area that I've been delivering in right now. And it's not as crazy as I thought. Like I was like, oh, I could never live in the city. It's way too crazy, but it's really not. It's not as crazy as I thought. I could totally live here. Also, you don't get your tips until an hour after, after because they have up to an hour to change your tip unless they like actually open their app and select their tip right away. So I don't know like the final amount because sometimes I'll go home and then for the next hour I'm like actually receiving more money because I'm getting those tips. So you'll just have to wait till the end of the day to hear what I actually made today. Update, I'm actually done for now after that order because my friend's actually done with work which means it's time to go to the DMV. So it was only like two hours. Here, I'm at a stoplight. Obviously tips are still coming in but right now I have made $25 in an hour and 42 minutes. Let's just say an hour and a half, round down a little bit. We'll say $23 divided by an hour and a half. $15 an hour, which a lot of people, I feel like say they usually make like between $17 and $20 an hour doing Uber Eats. I don't know, I think I still just need to figure out like which orders to take and stuff. Obviously stacking the orders helps a lot. Tips make the biggest difference. So I made it to the DMV to get my new Texas driver's license and everything worked out so good. And guess what? They let me put my maiden name on my driver's license. Hey guys, I'm back at it again today. I'm in Houston and I decided I want to try again today. It's also Friday, so I was like, you know what? I'm gonna go and it's probably gonna be popping because it's Friday and by the end of the week, everyone's like, ah, I don't want to make, and then they order food. Okay, update, I should not have accepted that order it brought me way out here and i met some weird super rich people in the neighborhood with gates and giant houses and this house was so difficult to find so i just wasted so much time and the person wasn't answering the phone or texting back or anything so i was just on my own trying to find it i found it hopefully that's the right house because i am leaving so i stopped to get some tropical this is not tropical smoothie unfortunately smoothie king uh let me try this i usually hate smoothie king smoothies so let's see Oh, okay, I guess I found one I like because this is really good. I think this one is called Berry Blend and I got a huge one. I've been craving a smoothie for like three days now, so this is definitely hitting the spot. I never went over the numbers and how much I made, so let's do that right now. First of all, that trip I did was the most waste of time. Um, unless they end up tipping really good, it took me 30 minutes to drive out there. It said it was only gonna be a 15 minute drive, but I hit every single red light and then I couldn't find the house. So that's why it's just like, it's not worth it. Like stay in your little bubble. Last week, I made $115 and I only worked Saturday and Sunday. I worked eight hours, 115 divided by eight. I made about $14 an hour last week. This week I've so far worked seven and a half hours and I've made $109, which also puts me at $14 an hour. My really good day yesterday, I made $35 in an hour and 45 minutes. That's $20 an hour. So yesterday I made $20 an hour at peak lunchtime and I ended up leaving. I definitely still could have kept going, but since my friend was done at work, I was like, all right, let's go to the DMV. So yeah, it just depends and I'm still just trying to figure out how to make the most money tips are like half the money so like literally this week my net fare I've made $60 and my tips was $50 so literally almost half the money that I make is in tips last week I made $60 net fare and $54 in tips so tips make obviously a really big difference 
But anyway, that's just how much I've made so far. Yeah, I think it's fun. It's like a nice little, if you need like a little extra money. Me and Charlie were talking about when she lives here, we can just do Uber Eats to like get money so we can go on like little trips and stuff. So it's a good way to make like money on the side, but I do enjoy it because it helps me get to know the city better and my area better and make a little extra money. And I like driving around, so. This smoothie is really good. I feel like all the money I make on Uber, I'm just gonna end up spending on food. Also with Uber, you have to calculate in, one, you have to pay your own taxes. So like, I'm self-employed, so I have to pay my taxes around this time of year. And then two, you have to pay for gas, car maintenance, oil changes, all that kind of stuff. So I kind of calculated in. But any of those expenses, like gas or car maintenance, is also gonna be a tax write-off. So it balances out. All right guys, I've just been chilling, kind of drinking my smoothie. And it looks like it's starting to pick up. There are a couple of tiny little spots where there's extra money. So I'm going to start driving like more into downtown Houston and go start making some money. Oh, okay. Wow. It just updated and it's, it's starting to be popping. So I got to go. So I'm home and today ended up being like the worst day ever. So I got this order and it was like not that far. And it was like a bigger order. I think it was like a $15 order and it was two people. And the first person didn't come out to get their food. It was at a hospital for like 20 minutes. And then the second person changed their address. So I had to drive super far. I was like, you know what? I'm done, I'm stressed. And there was like a light that was broken. So it took me so long to get back into Houston. So I was like, I'm done. Anyway, um, I think that's gonna be it for today's video. Let me know if you guys wanna see me like go and do like a whole week where I do like literally eight hours a day for a week or something like that and see how much money I can make. I don't know. Anyway, thanks for watching, bye.